Howdy mates, good late morning. Today is Thursday, January 14th, 2021. I'm out at the Bruckner Nature Preserve along the Buckeye Trail. Because Well, they call it the Buckeye Trail because you can actually see Ohio Buckeyes along this trail. However, though, of course, you can't really see them right now at the moment. And you may be wondering, like, you know, where does, where does the term Buckeye come from? Well, Buckeye actually comes from the fact that the actual fruit, or the seed, looks like a buck's eye. Because usually the eyes of a buck are usually kind of a dark color to it and the other question might be are they edible no you do not want to eat a buckeye or the seed because it actually is poisonous to us however though other forms of wildlife including the white-tailed deer or even the Eastern Grey or the Red Fox Squirrel, they can eat them. Because they have a totally different metabolism that's designed for them to eat those types of seeds in nature. But you may also be thinking too, like, what exactly made all these hills that's around me? Even though we are in Miami County. If you'd have guessed glaciers, you'd be correct. These hills are a result are a result of glacial moraines, which essentially means they're kind of like what's the best analogy to put it? Say that you're driving a dump truck, right? So when a dump truck finally so in this case the dump truck is the actual glacier. So say the dump truck finally arrives where it needs to go and it lifts up its bed and thus it gets rid of any of the materials that might be in the bed. In that case, the dump material are the moraines. And usually these moraines are made out of mostly soil, rocks, you name it. That's the dump material. And usually, as I've come to learn, usually the moraines, the soil is a bit more acidic. So that's why you'll see certain trees, such as that of the white oak or the honey locust in front of me, or even the different types of maples. A lot of them usually prefer to be in slightly more acidic soil. But then, as you get towards the floodplain, where the elevation drops a little bit, that's where the soil will become a bit more neutral to alkaline. In terms of pH. So, you may be thinking, like, why does this matter? Well, trees can actually help indicate the soil type that you're at. So, like, for example, you know, as I was pointing out, the, what you call the white oak, or even the sugar maples, they may prefer slightly more acidic soil. But then, in another instance, you may have a chinkapin oak, which typically likes to be in more limey soils, or alkaline. Because limestone technically is an alkaline rock. In other words, higher pH. And lower pH means more acidic. 
But that's something very important to note. So, good way to remember is acidic means low, alkaline means high. Oh yeah, just take the view. Unfortunately, a lot of the understory is composed of the honeysuckle. So unfortunately, you don't really have too many opportunities to be able to see any other native vegetation. So it makes me think that Bruckner should be able to put up a policy for invasive plant removal. It'd be very beneficial. But yeah, eventually as soon too, when it approaches around springtime, all of these leaves will thus contribute to detritus or dead organic matter, which will make the soil become more organic. And it will allow new plants to thrive. So, as always, Mother Nature has a process of repetition. So, alright. Thought I would share that with you guys. Hope you learned something out of the video. Might actually share an article or something regarding soil type and trees. They do go hand in hand. So, alright. Hope all of you enjoy your Thursday. And Journey on a Journey is out. Take care, folks.